Hello readers, it's Feature Friday. So we're going to feature three awesome reads that kids have really enjoyed. The first is Swing by Kwame Alexander. And you're probably familiar with the crossover or booked. He writes in a really neat style, which is in verse, almost like a rap. So when you open up the book, that's what you'll see. You'll see like verses or like song lyrics is the way it's written. This one, Swing, is it about is about baseball. Noah and Walt are two best friends. They're 16, and this is their year to go big go big in love. They're trying to woo a couple ladies and also make the baseball team. Some heavy things are going on in the backdrop of this book um, in America, but this book ultimately is is about goodness, about hope, and about finding your voice. So here is our author Kwame Alexander with a book trailer. I am walking down this quiet street in this quiet neighborhood, which could pretty much be any street in America. A place where best friends walk to school together, shoot hoops together, take some swings at life, share secrets, explore what's possible and dream about choices and chances that they'll take. And probably even talk about all the things that are happening in our world. Kind of like those flags Walt and Noah see popping up all over the place. One of the poems says, after the flags show up at our school, people mull around, not sure if they should be scared or proud. Walt seemed to believe that the flags signal a need for people to wake up and act in the world and hug life. Noah just wants to calm down again, showing their drastically different perspectives on life and how they see the world. I mean, it's hard to wrap our minds about all the things that are happening in our world, especially the things that should never happen. But they are all over, in Milwaukee, in New York, in Dayton, in Cleveland, in Ferguson, in Phoenix, in Pittsburgh, in Nashville. And it's hard. It's confusing. And everyone is looking for a little more peace, a little more joy. So we must be like Walt. We must take a little bit of good and stretch it as far as it will go. Our second feature is Guts by Raina Telgemeier, and she's wildly popular with middle school readers. This is her newest. It's a graphic novel, and it's a true story. She's telling her own story growing up um, and battling with with anxiety, and it kind of just started with just an illness, but then anxiety about food, about friendships, about school, and ultimately how she overcame that. So I have a couple copies of this one in my classroom library, and our media center has it too. Guts. It all started with a stomach bug. I got better, but I couldn't stop worrying about getting sick again. The more I worried, the more my stomach hurt. I worried about what to eat, my family's germs, and most of all, what my friends would think. But with some help, I started to understand my feelings. I also realized my friends had problems of their own, and that if we all shared our stories, we could face our fears together. It takes guts to face your fears. This is Raina Telgemeier. Don't miss my latest graphic memoir, Guts. Today's final feature is Rule of Three, and it is action-packed. America gets the makeover it never asked for. Happens first at Adam Daly's high school, where there's a power outage, and then it becomes massive, and then computers around the globe are going off the uh, offline, and, and the world is going off-grid, and it becomes a struggle to survive. The Rule of Three.
Thank you, those of you who have connected with your language arts teacher about a book. We are excited about that. We're excited to pair you with them. Keep checking out books from Destiny Discover from the LMC and happy reading. Hopefully these got you thinking about a, a couple more options. Have a fun weekend.